All right, this is probably going to be a very short video. Uh, man, I'm running out of ideas, running out of money. Man, so many stores have closed. Uh, the local vinyl, the good stuff is just drying up. So, uh, what I'm showing here is just a few things that I've picked up. Really, this is about it from September, you know, other than, uh, I think I showed you a video of some stuff that I got for my birthday, but other than that, this is, this is it. Uh, record store day was, uh, last Saturday, and only one item that I wanted there was the Parish Hall album, and of course, they did not have did not have it. Uh, I had saved up a little money, just enough to get that, and maybe uh, a little something else. So, um, I was disappointed with that, but I looked around, and I picked this up, okay? Uh, they had all non-Record Store Day items in the store were 20 to 25% off. So, I picked up Nick Mason's Saucer Full of Secrets. Now, they had both the LP box and they had this uh, three-disc digital version, which I chose because with the discount, it was super cheap. Uh, the uh, uh, LP version would have been over 40 bucks, and I got this for just a little over 20-something Plus, it's got a uh, DVD of um, the uh, the concert at, uh, what was that place? The Roundhouse, okay? The concert at the Roundhouse. And uh, mixed in 5.1 at Abbey Road Studios. I love DVDs. I love seeing the artists doing the performances. And, you know, and... Abbey Road 5.1 mix, you know it's still going to sound great. Plus, they've got interviews with the bands, a lot of extras and stuff. Plus, it's got two CDs, which is uh, the same uh, music that's on the four LP set. So, hey, it was a no-brainer. And uh, the only other thing I got at the store on Record Store Day was this Johnny Cash. Story songs of trains and rivers. And man, I saw this back, I think I ended up paying like four bucks or something for this with the discount. And what a deal. I remember this album when I was a teenager. There was a, a neighbor of ours that uh, I used to go and hang out with. He was a little bit older than me. He worked in the local coal mines. And he had an 8-track of this that he used to play when he would go to work. And whenever I would go over and hang out at his house, I'd always get him to stick this in the 8-track player and listen to it. So it brought back a lot of memories. And this is, uh, this is a Sun, Sun record label. I don't know if this is an original or a reissue, but stoked to get it. You know, it's 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 VG VG plus. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's see what else I got here. Oh yeah, I, I picked this up at the Goodwill. <laughs> Fifty cents. I've got a bunch of Dolly Parton albums. I was talking with uh, one of my friends. Uh, or commenting that, you know, I had a bunch of old uh, country albums and uh, I like to keep, but I tell you what, look at that picture of Dolly. <laughs> I'm being serenaded. My girls. Hey, girls. All right. Anyway, look at that picture of Dolly. Man, what a doll she was in those days. And this album probably sold more copies for these photographs than it did for the music. Oh yeah, music was 
pretty good. It had a couple of hits in there. Here You Come Again, uh, Two Doors Down. Uh, what else was on there? Uh, there was, uh, oh, what was that song? Something else that was on here. But anyway, 50 cents, and it's, it's, it's a VG Plus copy, so I'm, I'm tickled to death. All right. <laughs> and the last thing, uh, I had been wanting to find copies of Big Star LPs, okay? Uh, I found out about Big Star about 20 years ago. There was a, a friend of mine who was a, a, a doctor at, uh, he was a surgeon at the hospital I worked with, and he loved music. And he used to bring albums in all the time and CDs, and uh, he was passing around the CD one day to some of the people, and uh, it was a compilation from some club that he belonged to, and it had some cuts from Big Star. And... Uh, one of the anesthetists there, which was also which was already a fan of Big Star, was kind of telling me the story. So I was dying to get copies of these. But you know, once I found the story, and the originals of these are just extremely rare and very, very valuable. So I know I would never ever find a copy of those. But uh, I kept looking. Finally, uh, I checked on Amazon. Now. They did have a Four Men with Beards reissue, which I understand is horrible. Stay away from that. If you see it, just pass it by. I've not heard it myself, but I'll take the word of people that I trust. Now, this, uh, these were from uh, Craft Music, and it says on here, uh, Made in Memphis... All analog mastering, okay? So, all analog mastering, 180 gram vinyl pressed at Memphis Record Pressing. So, I figure, uh, I've heard good things about Kraft. <laughs> They've been so quiet. They have not made a, a, a noise until I guess they hear me talking in here. And then probably think I'm talking to somebody and they always if there's a stranger in the house they they show themselves so anyway they're they're cute little girls I'll have to show you one here in a minute but anyway I've been watching these and I, I had put them in my cart several times over the past few weeks and just hadn't quite pulled the trigger on it but I, I noticed that the price kept fluctuating on it for whatever reason so, finally, one day, about a week ago, uh, they had another price drop on both of these, at plus free shipping. So, bang, I pulled the trigger. And, man... <laughs> hey, welcome to my world, okay? Welcome to my world. But, uh, you know, having listened to these on MP3, on streaming audio, get some idea of it. But listening to a good copy on pristine vinyl was a revelation. Oh my goodness. And I'm sure that most of y'all are familiar with the story of Big Star. If not, you need to look up Big Star and, and read about their tragic story. Oh my gosh. So um, anyway, uh, really happy to get these two records. This one's a little, uh, this had the original four members. It's a little more produced, uh, beautiful album. This one, the second album, down to three members. The music is a little rawer. The guitars are a little rawer. It's more rocky, I think, overall. But, oh my gosh, what beautiful albums. So, um, anyhow, that's it. Uh... <clears throat> I really don't know when I'll be posting some more videos. Uh, it's not that there's a competition on or nothing, but there are so many vinyl community people 
there are so many very entertaining channels. People that are showing pristine collector's item records, uh, you know, stuff that I will never be able to afford, and I'm sure a lot of us won't be able to afford, but I love watching those things. But um, I cannot offer anything like that. And I always uh, would show my cheap finds that I would find at, at uh, thrift stores and pawn shops, but those places are closed up. And even the thrift stores is like they're it's a wasteland. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's about it. And uh I'll still be on here uh, you know, watching videos and commenting from time to time, maybe posting a music video every now and then. I've thought about doing that again. Um but uh in the meantime, if you don't see me for a while, man, you guys Keep fighting the good fight. You know, there is some, there's some evil going on, you know, and uh, this world is not right, and we need to make it right somehow. Just put it in your mind to make it right, and, and let's make it happen. I don't have an answer other than that, but love you guys. Peace. Bye-bye.